hello everyone uh, welcome to cyber importance youtube channel in today's video we are going to create a linux virtual machine inside google cloud platform uh, the requirements for today's task is uh, to have google cloud platform account uh, we need google chrome uh, remote desktop application and administrative privilege to perform all the tasks uh, the steps that we will follow uh, first we will create virtual machine a ubuntu version uh, after that we will install graphical user interface or desktop environment the next step is to change the privileges and uh, after that we will enable chrome ssh connection and the last step is to verify the connectivity so starting from the first step opening google cloud platform right now we are in the main dashboard for creating vm select the compute engine section and click on vm instance So for creating VM, you are going to click on create instance. So right now we are in the instance section. Uh, every instance need a name. So we give Ubuntu dash one as a name for our VM. Uh, GCP provide multiple region for deploying a VM uh, and as per our requirement we will select the US Sentinel one which a low price region and we uh, can select multiple zone here after that in machine configuration section we have uh, many series and machine types in this uh, video we will select e e2 series and we select only 4 gb memory for our vm in boot disk section we change the operating system so by default it's debian we change debian to ubuntu We have multiple versions uh, of Ubuntu operating system. So we are going to select uh, Ubuntu 20.04. And boot uh, disk type, we have many types. We select the balance one. And uh, storage, we can give any storage size we want. So click on select. In firewall section, we have multiple rules. Uh, we can allow HTTP traffic or HTTPS traffic. We select both and click on create. Right now, the Ubuntu one virtual machine is under deployment process. So the machine is now running and ready for operation. We click on SSH. So our VM created successfully and it's ready for further operation. We use the sudo apt update command to update the virtual machine and its packages the next command is to upgrade this machine so to so to apt upgrade
next step is installing chrome remote desktop connection so for this uh, we use ubuntu official guide We already created a Ubuntu VM instance. So the instance is live and we will install Chrome Remote Desktop on that VM. Uh, the first commands are sudo apt install assume yes wget task cell. So we are copying these commands paste it in virtual machine the next option is to download and install Debian Linux Chrome Remote Desktop installing packages click enter Next task is to set up Ubuntu desktop environment on the VM instance. The first command is sudo task cell install Ubuntu desktop. Copy the command and press enter. This installation will take few minutes. So the Ubuntu desktop environment installed successfully. And next command is bash command to set up a remote desktop session. It will prompt uh, permission denied uh, error but it's uh, no issue. Uh, we will do this command in the last step. Uh, the next uh, task is to configure Chrome remote desktop services. click on this link so the Google Chrome remote desktop is open and right now we are going to set up the SSH click on begin uh, download and install Chrome setup on desktop click on Windows and download the setup We already installed Chrome Remote uh, Desktop uh, setup in our computer. So we uh, are going to set up the SSH. We already done these steps click on next and click on authorize for making connection and SSH session uh, we have to copy this line of codes which is for Linux and Debian operating system and deploy it on VM It 
will request uh, a digit or pin code and we require the pin code again so after uh, giving two times the pin code it will generate uh, this notification for you and uh, the next step is to click on start hour uh, let's see our VM is connected or not here we see that the Ubuntu one is connected so let's set up uh, a new password for root user and current user the command is sudo minus i sudo dash pass wd root into the password enter the password again As we see the root password is updated successfully and next uh, we are going to update the current user password copy this username retype the new password as you see the current user password is also successfully updated next step is to provide privilege for current user and root user the command is vi sudo here we have a root user access so we provide the same access to our current user copy these commands and control X which will save our modification we provide privilege to users the next command is to verify that Chrome remote uh, desktop is running or not copy this command as we see the session is active right now the last command that we will deploy on vm is the graphic command so copy this code and paste it here so our last command will be reboot of vm So the VM is restarted so all the process is done let's uh, open our Ubuntu VM the VM is online right now Enter the pin select the second option and press OK As we see the Ubuntu is installed successfully and we have access to our machine
the machine is ready for operation. Use our tablet password. 